I use plasma on primal, primals. Plasma's the only thing that does damage to these guys. Their armor is too high. Like, just because they quote-unquote have a higher resistance stat doesn't mean that it's not still my best gun. Also, I thought Plasma is supposed to be good against Primals. Corrosive is good against them. I thought the I thought corrosive is supposed to be well. I guess they're heavily armored. Well, one way or another, haven't found much for corrosive, so it doesn't really matter. Is that it? Is that really that's all all that's on the ship? I guess so. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna restate. You guys are still very backseat gamey when it comes to uh, this game. Like just. Let me do my thing. Hello. Nope, can't do anything to that. Oh, wow. Let's see, what if you front seat gaming? That's me. If any of you are, are front seat gaming for me, that's a problem, because that means you're, you're in my house. And I don't really want that. Okay, so I can't get in here without a higher hacking skill. That's... Hmm. They're not hacking. Lockpicking. Neat cave. I'll have to come back. I wonder if I can leave, like, a waypoint. Doesn't look like it. Can't fast travel near hostiles. They're hostiles? Oh, whatever. We're right next to the ship anyway. Let's see. With N-Ray being the only type you haven't seen yet. Uh, I haven't seen an N-Ray gun yet. But there are plenty of N-Ray uh, primals that have been hitting me this entire time. So that's how I was supposed to get down without breaking my shins. I got it. Pretty sure that's actually, yeah, that's just straight up a picture of s space. I guess it works. I always like games that have their own hand-painted space backgrounds, and I'm sure all these stars are painted in. But you can definitely tell that this is just a photograph. Uh, there are some games that have absolutely gorgeous, uh, just v sky vistas and whatnot. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so I don't really like the plasma launcher. It's okay, but it kind of fits in the same vein as everything else of not quite what I'm, quite what I'm looking for. I'll have to try out the mandibular rearranger, but... It doesn't really seem like it's worth my time. Okay, let's go back. Like Elite Dangerous. I've actually never played Elite Dangerous. I think Destiny's... Oh, yeah, Destiny absolutely has absolutely freaking gorgeous backgrounds, if you've ever seen any of them. Also, these loading loading screens are awesome. Or Destiny transition screens. The groundbreaker. Let's see. So everything is relatively repaired. I could break some stuff down, but I've got a lot of weapon parts, so I don't think I really need to worry about it. I'm gonna go up here and drop off those unique guns, though. Oh, damn it. Uh, let's see, weapons. So let's store these weapons. I'll hold on to the rest of these. Don't care too much about any of this. Okay, so if I put this stuff away, I want to go check the bench and see if I can use the bench downstairs using all the stuff that I've... Got sitting around. Because if so, that's awesome. Damn it. Elite Dangerous is a lovely game, but it suffers from MMO mechanics while being a single player game. Okay, so we're just going to take all. Which isn't quite as heavy as I thought it was going to be. I really wish you could use that bench specifically. Okay. 
So, sniper rifle. So what do we have? Magazine size, plasma damage, shock damage. I'm pretty sure I've already got a sight. Yeah, two times scope. So I could give this thing a better, bigger magazine, but I don't know if I care about it en enough for that. What about you? Quiet muzzler or fun times barrel, extra crit damage. Oh, it's already got the fun times barrel. That makes it do plasma, that's not that helpful. Magazine size or shock. I don't have a whole lot of really exciting mods there. All right, what do we got here? So toughened gives me a little bit. It's like it's okay. Uh, I guess I'll just toss toughened on. What do these do? When your health drops too low, this mod makes you temporarily invulnerable. Increases your regen. That's pretty damn good. Zaps melee attackers. Increases tech skills, melee and defense skills, range skills, dialogue and leadership, melee and defensive. What's the difference between the thug kit and the expensive thug kit? 44. I think it's just pure value, nothing more. Well, let's do, let's just do tech, tech kit. And what else do we have? Geographic scanner, backpack. And Nightingale Step. You know, I haven't actually been using stealth for anything other than robberies, so we're just going to do Geographic Scanner. Okay. The locker's in here. Oh, now I can put stuff in these lockers. That's weird. Maybe it's because I didn't own the ship before, but I specifically tried putting stuff in these lockers, and it was not taking. And that was actually really annoying. Okay, anything else sitting in here? We do have that. That does give me a huge engineering bonus, but I don't think I'm really going to be using it that much. Okay, anything else? Nope. All right, let's go turn in these quests. And let's go figure out... Because... Where's the foreman, foreman? Are they back in the engineering? Because the one problem with this game is since everybody just pulls from the exact, like, same generic model set, it's very hard to tell who's, like, a, a important quest giver and who's just some random person. Where am I going? I actually don't know the way in. Oh, because door. Okay, well, we can go back to her at the very least. Have you had a moment to look into that lip? You don't hurry up. Okay. Oh. We haven't been back to Roseway. Any time. I went the wrong direction. What quests have I finished? So I haven't done that one yet. So we want to go back to Dr. Dorset and we got to go find the uh We gotta go talk to the doc in here. Big Bay nurse, where's... What? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Oh, I see. I couldn't talk to the foreman because my ship was still hot. That's... I guess that makes sense. Just kind of frustrating. 
Because, like, generally with this game, you're not really given much of a reason to come, come back to anything or anyone. And so, yeah, she doesn't actually have the, uh, the quest for you, and she just gives you, like, a non-dialogue, uh, then I'm just like, alright, she's just a background NPC, like all these other people. Oh well. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And no, Ellie, that offer does not extend to you broadcasting another of your crude jokes. Hey, that's a real planet, and no one's seen it in a long time. Damn it, Ellie, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Anyway, like I was saying, you aiming to send a message, you better be quick. Why'd you run out of time? You headed somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That signal's part of how Groundbreaker stays autonomous and independent. Much as I'd love to hear fewer corporate jingles, this would be bad. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I can check it out. I need to for official sign off on the in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? You just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. I love. Okay, can I go back to the ship? It's awesome that I can just go back to the unreliable interior. Probably could have maybe fast traveled to the engineering bay. I don't really know. Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Preferably not already filled out this time. I am bound to disappoint you always. Okay, so I can go to the Monarch. Where's the... Journal, which quest am I on? Oh! Roseway's back down on the planet! That's why I haven't found it yet. Well, let's do Silent Voices. Because that sounds like it'll be quick. And then we'll go down to Roseway. That looks pretty. And then I'll figure out if this, this beaten stick is worth something. Because I'll try and beat a couple of things at the very least. It's a touch different from the ones I've seen. Shouldn't be so hard to get it patched up, though. Beauty part is. Spot for some peace and quiet. Quiet. Since nobody's supposed to live here. Anymore? Everything fine here is mine, and no, I don't have to worry about anybody being like crimes. Praise journal, beautiful dream. Last night I dreamed, and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them, to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned, and Delilah was beside me. I didn't question why my supervisor was here, was there. Her eyes so full of emotions, I know she feels, but dares not show it work. I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming, screaming. When I awoke, I was scared. The dreams are so real now. This time I recognized a face. 
I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with a touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This isn't who I am. This isn't who I will become. I must find help. Creepy. Nice going. Free ammo. Okay, display unit status. Let's see. Mechanicals are hostile. Update security routines. Begin charging cycle. Cool. Probably makes things dang easy. That's barred. All the way around then. Anything here? No. I see red like that and I'm like... Hmm... I see red like that, and I think locked door, but no locked door. Why do the characters shush me? The tactical shotgun. You know what? Uh, let's see. We want this. A lot of landmines. Somebody lost their, their mibbles. Ow! Damn, that has some explosion radius. Phrase journal escape. I had to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They will show me pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no, need the gifts I can give. All it would take is a few moments with a blade. A bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to delight the eyes and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school, who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright. Oh, no, not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I found and described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he'd helped this character. He looked at me and he knew. He knew he knew. The whispers told me to end his pain. That he'd tell. He'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not. Not. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell, 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 tell. They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place I can be alone. A place with no whispers. Oops. Wrong buttons. Lockpicks. And goodens. So, effectively, what might have happened is this lady came here to escape the whispers and set off the robots? Or people were working here. I'm not Ooh, entirely sure. Find? But no. The source. The whispers have a source and I found it. Found it. I have taken refuge on an orbital relay station. Smaller than a worker's hovel. Barely a few thousand square... Meters, but sufficient for my needs. I was able to flee Byzantium with enough bits to purchase supplies the last decades. It was strange being among the common people of the Groundbreaker. Their whispers barely stirred at the sight of the ill-fed, scarred, and unwashed bodies. Only there were fewer freighters docking here. Bringing real people from Byzantium, I could almost have made a home free of temptation. Free, free. As I made this place livable, or as much as it can be, I started hearing the whispers from the relay terminal. They told me to listen to the voices traveling through the ether to reach me, calling out to me to help them, alone, lonely, needing my help. I found a way to power down the transmitter. No more voices in the ether, and no more whispers. They fell silent, silent, silent. This was not me. It's not. Not. I'm not this foul thing that I have feared for so long. It was the voices in the ether trying to make me hurt others. But I was stronger than they, and I've defeated them. 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 I've already begun making plans to return to my home. Now that the whispers are defeated, I can resume my life again. I can't wait to return. I miss my family and co-workers so much, especially Delilah. Okay, so there's going to be a follow-up. Looks like we're getting Mark II's of things. Yeah, Century Saber Mark II. The problem is the, with the Mark II's is they drastically outstrip the uh, the power of any weapon that I've got. So, like, sure, the Mandibular Rearranger would be awesome, but, uh, holy shit. It ain't got nothing on this Mark II junk. Hmm. 
Let's see. My wow. This is a jumping puzzle and a half, I think. Nope, probably not. There's got to be an easier way to get up there. Maybe I can just loot it from down here. Maybe I got it. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we've been through all of this. The robots are charging. I could gun all the robots down, but you know what? Whatever. I think it would only help so much. Okay, that's that. How'd you do that so fast? There is a second floor. All right, let's clear everything else first, though. Nothing in the locker. Anything in those? Nope. Okay, what do we got in here? You probably don't need my diagnosis, oh. but he's definitely dead. So, Frey, silencer. It, it, it was health, Captain. That's real sad. Gun. Okay. I was wrong, wrong, wrong. The whispers didn't stop. Not, not. They've returned. They howl, howl, howl at me, demanding I return home and bathe the streets in crimson, bright crimson, beautiful crimson. And only think of one way to end this. End and forgive me, Delilah. Well, that's that's dark. I was assuming uh, Frey would like return, and then we'd have to, uh, you know, kind of have like a follow-up mission. But that's not how it worked. Anyway, so. Active transmitter, and we're good. Doesn't look like we've got any of the missions. Let's see, how goes the cronking? Pretty dang, pretty dang well. Ooh, goodies. And sweet glorious fire. Huh, I lived through that. I'm not entirely sure if I have any business surviving that, but you know what? Broken shins. Triple wording makes me hear her as the hammer dude. I think it's actually a guy. Oh, I, I thought it was, I thought it was a woman, imagine. but uh, one of my characters, I think Bavardi called him a him. Okay, so these are level... Yeah, okay. Can't do too much with them. What can I mod on the... Oh, the mods are here. Uh, I'm just going to take it all. Okay. Install mod. So what do we got? Fun times. Extra crit damage. We'll do the extra crit damage. Extra mag size. Plasma or shock. It'd be tempting to do shock. Because I got plenty of plasma. I haven't really used shock ammo like ever. Let's do shock. Add a scope. Or reduce ranged weapon spread. Okay. I'm gonna turn this pistol into a bit of a clinker. Okay, so back to mods. I was just really curious if all those barrels would, like, send me sky high, and the answer is no. Not even close. Kind of disappointed about that, honestly. Ooh. That overhaul power helmet is, uh, pretty damn good. Do we have any Mark II armor? Doesn't look like it. Some of these are pretty good. Not good enough. Okay, silencer. I mean, the damage is okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna put these away. Alright, uh, let's see. Right. Well, in that case, why don't we go back to Terra 2? Let's go to the, let's go to Roseway at this point. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. We'll Can come we back talk? to Oh, we'll come back to ground uh Groundbreaker when we get the chance. Well, once we have Roseway done cuz now we've got like three quests to turn in back there. This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. Do you know anything about who sent the call? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. 
Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. Someone needs help, Ellie. We're gonna give it to him. If you say so. I'm keeping a finger on the trigger all the same. I always have my anyway, gun out. we might as well take a look out there. See if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. We... Remember that you are not... And continued with the usual crew. Oh, right. That's the other reason why Supernova would be rough. The companions nope. would just die. Constantly. And that's kind of brutal. Let's see. I'm pretty sure my shins cannot survive another descent like I did previously. So let's... Let's hold off on that. So let's... Take a look at this. Wow. Uh, okay, it's not actually that small of a map. I thought it was pretty small at first, but it ain't. Okay, so let's sell the auto mag pistol. The vermin. Hammersmith. Looks like it's a high tier... It looks high tier, but not really worth it. Let's see, sell that. I'm going to just start selling shotguns. I'm going to sell the plasma launcher and the heavy machine gun. That helmet might be worth... The rest of this is just clothing, though. Okay, you would hate the no fast travel. That's... There's a lot of... There's a lot of reasons why I'm not playing on Supernova. It seems like it would be cool. I just don't think I could uh, deal with the, all the negatives. Much armor. Ooh. Advanced defensive ballistics helmet. Ordnance control armor. No. I like these helmets, though. I might go for it. I might just wear the one that I have for the time being, and that's just clothing. Okay, character. Nope, inventory. Armor. What does this give me? Oh, actually, this is this is perfectly fine. Okay, so I am here. I don't know if there's anything behind this sucker, but I'm I'm gonna admit I'm gonna tr actually try and stay on the beaten path. It looks like it's fairly constrictive anyway, uh, just because I don't have much time left before I gotta go to bed. So I've been running myself a bit ragged lately, and also, yeah, I got a flight. Stupid early in the morning. Down they go. These are not the unemployed. Hammer bait. Let's see over level because no fast travel. Still would suck for me. Uh, travel time is not one of my favorite things in games. Like, I really do prefer to be able to just, like, zip around and stuff. Also, I wasn't under the impression that enemies respawned in this game. Did this thing just... Yep. Well, I can't actually talk to it, so never mind. But yeah, Supernova just sounds like it would be... ...wasting my time more than anything else. I'm sure for a lot of other people they'll enjoy it, but for me, eh. I'm just here to generally enjoy the plot. I wish that thing would stop talking. Maybe I should go just hit it a bunch. Okay. Property of Auntie Cleo. Messages from administration. Okay. All operations have been terminated. Relocation fees will be deducted from your pay. If your pay is insufficient to cover the fees, you may be you may apply for a loan. 
Proof of loans requires an audit of your work history and permanent record. If you'd like to apply for an audit, please submit a request form for a place in our surprise audit wait list. Please include your audit fee paid in full. If you cannot pay your audit, please apply for an audit fee loan. Approval of loans requires an audit of your... <laughs> wow, that's awful. Personal files. And they've been purged. Of course they've been purged. They always have been. Sleep? No. Sleeping is for other people. Pick up snake skin. I think I might have to go beat that robot into submission just so it stops talking. Yep. It gets the smack. Can we be looking into that distress call? Not that I mislike feeling the wind in my hair. I can't I can't give her the smack. Alright, let's just put some distance between it so I don't wanna have to I left her alone outside. Oh, enemies respawn every time you sleep. I actually didn't know that. So because I never sleep, it don't matter. But uh Scientists here. Also, weird noises. I'm pretty sure I went in there. Any of these buildings enterable? It doesn't look like it. So I could go down that direction and check these things out, but let's 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 investigate uh, if I can. Actually, it looks like this door. Oh nope, never mind. I can transition into Roseway. Rock the Insomniac. Oh yeah. Did you like loans? So we got loans on your loans. Loans are awful Berkey. Okay, this is interesting. I didn't actually expect to see a living person here. A well-armored person. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. You said the raps broke loose. Did you have him caged up? Um, forget I said anything about that. Well, what can you tell me about them? Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Do they taste like? Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Anything else you'd like to know? I'm gonna take a look around. Oh, before I forget. Antique Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice pedals. Hey. So this place bears a passing resemblance to the last corporate town I was in. Oh right, I can't just well, I can just loot everything. Bring a lot of these guys around. Unfortunately, killing them all would take time and effort that I would rather dedicate to other things. Hello. That key. Luckily, since there's almost nobody around, that more or less means I can just loot everything. So, speaking of, hello, loot. Beat troop armor and some other junk. What else we got around here? Just in case. Feels weird to have invested all of these points into stealth when pretty much it's functionally useless for me. I could be doing all this thievery without. I guess the main main use for it. There's chickens? The chicken. Won't let me speak with chicken. That's unfortunate. Wasn't that a thing you could do? If you were like dumb as bricks in some of the previous games, you could actually or in like the Fallout games, you could actually just speak with animals and it would actually result in something. I want to say that's the case. Uh, you're probably the guy. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? You must be Anton Crane. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Under control? Not from where I'm standing. What are you hiding? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. 
Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Why well, cancel the distress, all, dr distress call? My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Tell me what you're actually doing here. I'll let them know myself. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. Dental gel. Yes, I see. Very important work. Uh, what's dental gel? Toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Please do. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. So, what do you need from me? Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Remove Cretans, retrieve research, check. You want, should I handle your Raptodon problem? Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. Sounds like it was chaos. You should give yourself a break. All right, I'll find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. And all you care about is how it affects you. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. What should I make mistake it for? Compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. I just want to hear, hear you admit that you're a heartless bastard. Thanks. Believe what you will. But I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Guess I'll have to take your word for it. Sass. Okay, what else we got in here? So it just came out of the, that building. I can go into this weird oblong this thing we do. Already wrapped fodder. Oh, I can go in here. Check this one out, I guess. Let's see, wanted posters. So this looks like living quarters more than anything else. Let's check this, it's probably a door outside. Nope, vending machines. Hooray. We got here, corporate troopers, vendos, but, oh. By control, aramid ballistics. Don't look like any of these are amazing for what I'm doing. What about this one? Nope, kind of more of the same. Corrosion damage would be nice, but I'm sure I'll find more of those as we go along. And this has kind of the same stuff. Yeah, it's got the same stuff. Oh, hi. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine. Really. Where are you when the outlaws attacked? Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know. Hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to, to work. Yep. 
You look nervous. What? <laughs> uh, I mean, we're surrounded by hungry raptodons. Who wouldn't be? Am I right? Look, I don't want to go back out there, but there's a thing I gotta do. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? We're likely headed that way. Anything we can do? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, benefits. Extracting how? No, wait, maybe I don't want to know. In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Oh, for... He's making enraptured, Captain. An aphrodisiac. Wrapped musk is the main ingredient. What? No? I mean, yes, I'm getting the musk. With Monarch Embargo, the price is sky high. But I'm not making the drug. Yeah, I really don't want to know anymore. Cut to the chase. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab. The one past that, built into the mountainside. Second lab, down the road. And when I get there? My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Alright, I'll head up there and keep an eye out. Great! <sighs> this is really gonna save my ass. Okay. So, hoping to score some free samples? Uh, is anyone even in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Yoink. Huh. I stole a whole book. That's unusual. Not used to that. A lot of these people just have, like, random drugs strewn about their rooms. I guess it kind of makes sense. They're all kind of just stuck in this, like, horrible corporate dystopia. Probably should have checked to see if there's a resident in here first, but I'm not seeing much of anything. Cool. Nope. Okay. Oh, I am hungry. Got three char siu buns down downstairs in the fridge, and I cannot You're wait to crack them open. The importance of the eighth back. Blankenship. She's okay, but Lunsford has the highest rate of foot goals per game. But if you cross-reference with the skills of the opposing team, his I can't actually talk to those people. At first, I thought they were having an important conversation. They're not. Ooh, workbench. I'm not really sure if there's much of a reason to workbench here. Uh, except for... Oh, no, these are more vermin. And these are my people, yeah? Cool. This is mine now. My bread. All of my other junk. So what do we got in here? Anton is going to regret this, maybe. But, you know what? He is going to... It, you know what? It's just an advanced fee. Okay, security lockdown. All personnel report to the assigned workstations. Okay, enter to continue. Personnel files. Journal entry. You're quite alone. Jameson's the only one here worth anything at all, but he bristles in my direction. This is quite likely a natural reaction to my pushing him so relentlessly. If he ever hopes to reach Byzantium, or the Byzantium, he needs someone applying the correct amount of pressure. Hopefully he'll come to see the truth, but should that prove impossible, I can at least ensure his work doesn't damage my chances. I shall be keeping an eye on his reports to see if they too warrant revision. I can't abide by any more demerits against us. For Jim... Jameson, talking to Vaughn today, was railing against me, claiming I'm using him and everyone here for my own ends. I expect vitriol from that lazy sod Vaughn, but Jameson, how can he not see that I only have his best interest at heart? Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Sorry, poked the mic. My unrelenting drive has always set others against me. With our latest breakthrough, I believe Byzantium is finally within my grasp. My next promotion will deliver me, I'm certain. As long as they don't see through my attempts to cover the rest of the, uh, cover for the rest of these fools. Did I ever find the breadworms in Edgewater? I don't think I did, actually. And can't quite shake this unease. I seem to be gripped by it. This makes no sense. Well, I have yet to get Tremel to commit to a specific date. He assures me Byzantium could be a mere, mere few weeks away. So why this encroaching feeling of emptiness? 
Must be a case of the nerves. I know it'll be accepted and, dare I see, possibly even revered when I finally arrive. I get the feeling we're going to get to Byzantium and it's going to be, like, empty? Or, like, an absolute husk. It'd be really interesting if we got there and there was just nothing. Like, everyone there is just dead. 